It is time for another vlog. It's been a hot minute since I vlogged and I wanted to do a shopping vlog. So today that I'm filming this is actually my birthday. I turned 26. We have a big shopping kind of short weekend. So Jose and I are doing a little bit of a staycation because we are at, I think it's called Sawgrass Mills Mall. And it's just like this ginormous mall. Uh, it seems like it, I could be wrong, like a normal mall that's like really large and then also an outlet mall in one, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I first heard of this from Erin Nicole, she told me that I needed to shop here. And then the last shopping vlog that I did, I went to a mall that's a little closer to our house, Dolphin Mall, and so many of you guys commented who are from Florida told me that I needed to go to this mall. And when I looked it up, Oh my gosh, it was huge. There were so many stores. So I wanted to come here for my birthday. We ended up, you know what, just getting a hotel room, staying the night as a fun little staycation for my birthday. So I'm gonna take you along. I'm on a mission. I'm gonna look at some handbags. I also wanna stop by a few makeup stores and see what the outlets have to offer. We're also gonna eat, of course. So makeup today. I just put on a bunch of products that were limited edition that I wouldn't normally put on on my channel. Like, I have some limited edition Pat McGrath quads. I have the Natasha Denona Daria Chic Palette. If you know, you know. It's so hot here. It's like definitely noticeably drier heat here than it is where we live in Miami. I don't like it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I might prefer the humidity of living by the water. But anyways, we are gonna walk around. It looks like, I don't know, is it gonna rain? It's quite dark. Hopefully not. Anyways, let's go shopping. Yo, why is this mall so giant? <laughs> I feel like we've been walking for miles. All of the stores seem to be like the best versions of themselves. A super target? What's a super target? What makes it super? Nothing like chocolate to stop me in my tracks. Okay, let's go. We got some Ferrera Rocher ice cream. Is it good? Oh, oh my gosh. The foodie adventures begin. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> delicious <laughs> it is <laughs> okay so Jose's weakness is crepes so you saw we went to crepe delicious <gasps> there's a whole cheesecake in here keep in mind we are going to the cheesecake factory tonight <laughs> oh my god Jose <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't eat this. It's too much, huh? Mm -hmm. We're not gonna eat later. I know. Yeah. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's from Celine. It's originally fifteen hundred dollars for four sixty. Still too expensive, obviously. I only spend like twenty dollars on clothes, but it's so cute. These are good prices for Tory Birch. It's like two seventy four, and they also have this one is super cute too. Still like 250. I don't know what this is, but ooh. And now we are at the outdoor outlet place in the mall that has more like luxury brands. You know we had to end up at Coach. This is cute. I, there's a dog barking. I like the ruffles. Oh, that is cute. I almost bought this one. Let's see how it looks. Isn't that like a cute little baguette bag? It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. What do you like? Something caught Jose's eye. You like that makeup bag? The denim. He likes the denim style. So I was eyeing these little mini pepper bags online, but I think they're kind of ugly in person. <laughs> Especially like this one I loved online, but this print, I don't like it anymore. The pink is fine, but I don't like it like I did online. 
These ones are 60% off, but I think it's a little too, like, Western for me, but it is so cute. Ooh, the denim. Okay, but wait. This is so cute. Uh-oh. At Kate Spade, how cute is this? It's as cute as it looked online. Love it. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I'm dead. So cute. Now we, I have like a white one from Kate Spade like this. So cute. A little bigger. I love this one. This one looks so expensive. I have purses already shaped like this, but this is my favorite one I've seen. Oh, it's beautiful. Listen, I know Michael Kors isn't as popular anymore, but they have some really cute styles. I don't care. That's so sleek. Oh my god, I don't know what these are, but they're so tiny and cute. If a purse is tiny, I'm attracted to it. I don't know why I'm like this. <gasps> Look at the green. Michael Kors. I didn't know Marc Jacobs had outlets. So cute. This is so cute. I love this. And they have it in black. The Gucci outlet is popping. I'm not going inside because there's a line since it's Saturday to all of the luxury stores. And I know I'm not going to buy anything anyways, but uh, I wish I could. They got real Gucci bags here. I couldn't help it. I'm forcing Jose to wait in line because I just I just need to see what they have at a Prada outlet store. Hey. This one is cool. Is that a crossbody? Yeah. This is so cute. I do like this one. Well, no, these are $1,000. That is the sale price. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are so cute. Getting some Calvin Klein undies, but look, they're totally copying skims, and I'm here for it. I love the neutral beiges. I want to dress nice, but then at the same time, sweat shorts exist. <laughs> Music was so loud at Hollister, but oh my gosh, you guys, I felt so old in here. I felt too old to shop. I used to work at Hollister when I was a teenager for years. Somebody who worked there just called me ma'am and I was struck by it. Cause I look young, but anyways, wow. I'm too old for these clothes. Oh, look what they have at the CCS. I'm back. I know this concealer was really popular. They also had a bunch of stuff on super deep, deep, deep discount, like 80% off. It was crazy. And what I was surprised by is they had this La Mer powder foundation. I was so tempted to get it, but they didn't have one in my shade. And then Tom Ford quads, 75% off. And they were decent quads. And then we also have some foundations and whatnot, none in my shade. Also tried some stuff out at American Eagle. The pants were a no, but this shirt was a yes. It's totally my style. Same thing with the, this dress. I'm actually wearing it today as I'm making this voiceover. <laughs> but I love it. It's so comfy. We are pooped. We had to stop and sit in the hotel room before dinner. I'm happy we decided not to make this just a day trip because we would have been dragging. So we've picked out the stores that we want to hit tomorrow. I want to hit the Tory Burch outlet. The line was just really, really long and I didn't feel like waiting today because there were so many other stores. But since now I know I wanna go there, we'll wait there tomorrow. We wanna go to H&M, I wanna go to Primark. I love Primark, cheap stuff, love it. And there's like a couple other stores, but we, we spent today really just scouting and then of course we found some stuff. But anyways, yeah, we're about to head to dinner very soon. Um, so we have reservations right now, this second, and it's just torrential downpour, <laughs> and we have to walk. Luckily, the hotel gave us an umbrella, but uh, we're gonna be soaked regardless because it's windy. So 
Yay! Open it. <laughs> Let me just show. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> it's so dark, but we did make it eventually. We got soaked in the rain, pretty much. Korean fried chicken. Pasta. Napolitano. Napolitano. We hungry. We're about to dig in. I'm making Jose come right at 11 at Tory Birch, and look, there's already a line. But I didn't get to check it out yesterday. I was so excited to be in a Tory Birch outlet, you guys. Now that I have a newfound love for Tory Birch, didn't really love these bags, but this one I was attracted to. And I thought that short one was really cute as well. And then I was on the hunt for a wallet, but I th I don't really like the look of green leather. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> yeah, we do. These are so cute too. Which, right? I have purses that look like this one though. We're working now on the molecular level. <laughs> What can you feed in here? Not even your phone. Nothing. Not even your key. It's two fifty nine. Oh. <laughs> Had to stop into Kate Spade. I'm cut off, you guys. I, these are technically Jose's birthday presents to me, but I, we share a bank account, so like, I'm cut off. That's from my paycheck. We are going to go to H and M and then Primark, and then we are gonna head home. Guys, I have been waiting to come to Primark. I'm obsessed with Primark, but we don't have any in Maryland. I'm so excited. Got some shoes. Looking at the accessories, guys. Primark are so cheap. How cute of a beach bag is this? So cute. Aesthetic and only like five, ten dollars for everything. I want the gloss shot set. And I like the hair clips, even though I don't need them. These are what I use in my hair when I put on makeup. 350 for all these. They even have a bunch of makeup options, which I've heard decent things about. It's a mess though. Some lip product over here. The home section. Not bad. Kind of cute. <gasps> Four dollar lights. Ooh, two fifty. Some blankets. She. Hmm. Do I need anything for my house? Three dollar hangers. Oh my god, that mug is so cute. So the line was literally around the entire store. I found something, but it was not worth it. We are going home. We were in the store for like 30 minutes and I found some good deals, but the line was too long. It was at least like an hour long line, I would say. Something crazy like that? No. So, we're gonna walk around and then head home. So we just returned something at Calvin Klein that Jose didn't like on himself. <sighs> I'm exhausted. This mall, you guys were right. I needed to go here, but dang, it literally took us two days to cover everything. I have plans of coming back. I feel like I think it's because we've never been here before and also we stayed at a hotel the first trip. I feel like this place is so far away from us. Like I feel like we went on a little mini vacation. But no, it's only like 40 minutes away from our house. So we could totally just come here any weekend for a day trip. It's just the dang mall is so big. But I had so much fun. Thank you guys so much for the recommendations. I will show you when I get home some of the things that I got. I'm not going to show you the purses. That's going to be for a separate video, the ones that I got. But I'll show you some of the clothes and whatnot. Florida weather. It's now Monday. I'm gonna show you everything that I got, but it was just my ideal weekend. An amazing mall and shopping. Couldn't ask for anything better. And Cheesecake Factory. Um, I'm gonna show you the clothes first. I picked up two things from American Eagle. I am still shopping in the same places that I shopped when I was a teenager. The clothes just fit me, I don't know. <laughs> But I got this cute top from American Eagle. It's just a really cute layered tiered top. It's gonna go great with any kind of bottoms like jeans, leggings, 
So I thought it was really cute and simple. Also from American Eagle, I got this dress, which looks like this. And there's straps on it too, but you can take them off if you want it to be more of like a tube style dress. And I love this type of fabric lately where it looks like a dress shirt, but it's just really a dress and it's going to look so good with one of the coach purses that I bought. So I'm excited about this. I think this is super cute and summery. I bought everything today in a size small, if you're wondering. And then from Hollister, I got some underwear from Gilly Hicks. I'm not going to show you that, but got a lot of undies. And then everybody in Miami wears athleisure all the time. And I have some not cute athleisure. I was a PE teacher, so I have a lot of like athletic clothes, but they're not cute. I wanted cute athleisure. It was buy one get one 50% off of the Gilly Hicks active wear. So I got a tennis skirt. I think tennis skirts are so cute. So this is in white. And then I also got a matching pink top to go with it. Not even really to go with it. It's just a cute athletic tank top, which is great to work out in and also really great to walk around in and it just it makes my boobs look really great so I got that in white and if you have the same sickness as me if I like something then I'm gonna get it in different colors so I also got it in black very very basic super duper cute I love the pleated skirt it does need steamed but what's very popular is aloe right or lululemon but I just <sighs> I will buy luxury things, purses, whatever, but when it comes to clothes, like, I'm so cheap. Anyway, so I think Gilly Hicks is a really nice price. It's, like, nicer than, like, H&M, but it's not quite Lululemon, but also the black tank top, super cute. And then Calvin Klein. Again, I got some underwear. I've just needed some fresh undies. But I thought I'd share this with you because I love seamless bras and being comfortable since I work from home all day. Uh, they Calvin Klein has some really nice, comfy kind of t-shirt bras. I got it for 20% off, so it, I thought it was a decent price. I don't know the exact name. But it's a seamless bra, super duper comfortable. Okay, and then the rest of the things I got were purses. Now, you guys know I'm starting to incorporate handbag content on my channel just because I love handbags too. And so do you guys. I knew for my birthday I was going to buy myself some handbags. I got one from Coach, one from Kate Spade, and one from Tory Burch. I was most excited about the Tory Burch outlets because they don't have an online store, I don't think. If if they do, let me know if I'm wrong. But yeah, there aren't very many Tory Burch outlets, I feel like. So I will do a more detailed video, but I just wanted to show you. I don't know the names of the bags or anything, didn't do any of my research, but if you're watching my vlogs, you're special. So I'm still gonna show you. I wasn't going to, I was gonna just save it for my video. So I've always wanted kind of a vanity bag like this. I know Chanel has one, but I'm not going to pay the Chanel prices. So I think that this is so beautiful and it's much more spacious than it looks. Like my phone and everything can fit in here because it's super duper wide. But I just think it is so cute. So you can wear it top handle style. How cute is this, right? And since it's from the Tory Burch outlet, this is why I really wanted to go. I got it for like $200, which most Tory Burch purses are, you know. I spent like $500 on the most recent Tory Burch purse that I got from retail instead of the outlet. So, um, Jose's gonna have to start making trips with me to this mall because I like the outlet. I'm an outlet girl when it comes to handbags. They're just, uh, okay. So then I went to Kate Spade. You guys know Kate Spade is my favorite purse brand. There's a lot of people out there who do not like Kate Spade in the purse YouTube world I've noticed, but I don't care. Uh, so I got this one. This is one that Jose picked out for me. He was going to order this online for me, but I just wanted to wait to see it in person first, but I love it. I think it is so cute. I love a small structured bag, you know, with a top handle. This is me to a T and it was a really great price at the outlets. It's a little bit more expensive online, like $10 more expensive, but at the outlets it was like 60% off with an additional 20. So I got it for $95 and I think it's so sweet and simple. And if I'm going Kate Spade, I just love getting cutesy bright colors because that is true to the Kate Spade brand. And so cute. Again, I will do a more detailed video. I also wanted something new to hold my cards. And again, it's just a really great price at the outlet. 
So I got this. This holds a bunch of cards. There also is a space in the middle. I think I got this for like $25. And it's really, really tiny. Since I love tiny bags, I need a tiny card holder. So that's what I got at Kate Spade. And then the last place I went was Coach. I actually don't buy a lot of Coach. I don't have very many purses from Coach. But I knew for my birthday, I wanted to get myself a Coach purse as well. And this is one that is not my style at all. It's different, but I still am really excited about it. Since, you know, my husband was buying it for me, I was like, let me get something that's like not me, something out of my style. So I ended up getting this guy right here. She is so cute. So I got this from their denim line, which is something that I thought was so ugly online. I really like did not want this purse at all, didn't even consider it, but I saw it in person and I just think this is going to look so cute with like shirt dresses, that American Eagle dress that I got. Just something to spice up a look that doesn't contain denim and it is a top handle bag. I'm a sucker for a top handle. If you noticed all of my bags that I bought this weekend have a top handle. I don't know. It's so different for me. This is not something that I would normally like, but I don't know. Something about it called into me. It has a suede lining. It has feet at the bottom. I like feet. <laughs> and then, of course, here's the strap, but the strap is also able to be taken off. So <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute and different for me. It's more of a statement bag. I normally don't have too many staple bags. I kind of like them small, cute, and classic as opposed to something with a print like this, with a material like this. But I'm in love. So anyways, if you want more details on those bags, I will have them linked down below. But I do plan on doing a purse haul just because. Okay, I just, I'm looking for any excuse to talk about purses right now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for my birthday shop with me vlog. And thank you very much because I did have a lot of messages from you guys wishing me a happy birthday. And I'm happy that I could take you along with me. Here's the foodie in me coming out, my other addiction, food. I didn't show this, but we did get the Cinnabon Cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. We got it to go because I was about to actually explode. Tip when you go to the Cheesecake Factory, you really should split a meal with a person because it's just a lot, but also the menu is so big. It's like, how can you settle on one dish? So we ate the cheesecake in like the middle of the night, but mm, that's my favorite one. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.